Hey, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy BK Nice, and we're back here again on another video for you guys. And we got another episode of the Budget Beast for you guys. And today, we're going to be going over the quarterbacks. Now, this is going to be fun because this is another important position that I feel. Uh, to have out there on the field. So the criteria that we're going to be going through today. One. Um, oh, my bad. All the accuracy. So short, middle, and deep. Very simple. Uh, then the next one, throw power. Throw power is very important in terms of like getting the ball quicker. Or maybe even like their release as well. Like determining that that's a big factor in like them possibly having a faster release. Then the next thing, we have speed. Obviously, we got to try and scoot if we need to. So, speed would be the next thing that we're going to look at. And then, the next thing that we have is going to be the the abilities or chemistries that they have uh, or that they could get uh, depending upon the archetype that they are. So, we're going to hop into it. Again, for those who don't know, we have our three tiers. First one is we're trash. That's going to be, for this video, 25K uh, and under. Then, the next one is going to be uh, Baby Goons, uh, we call it. That's our second tier, and that's going to be 25K to 75K in value. And then, the next one is going to be our Budget Beast, and that's going to be, be between 75K and 200K. Let's get into it. All right, so our first card we got here is Ryan Tannehill. He's going to be our first option that I think that we have in our We're Trash tier. Uh, however, though, I do want to note, though, I do want to note that right now, being the Series 5 just started, for, you know, if, depending upon when you're watching this. Series 5 just started, and some of these cards, being that they're in the, the theme diamond sets, they, you know, are a little bit fluctuant in price. Like the next guy that we're going to be going uh, to, uh, I looked on Mudhead, uh, I confirmed all these, so I just want you guys to know that before. I did my research, and I assume that, like, in a week's or so time, like, they're going to go back down, so just, you know, give it give it time. It, it's going to balance out with the training anyways with where it's at. So, like I said, we're, let's go through this Ryan Tannehill. So, his short is 89, which is really good. He, he shouldn't be missing no slants, drags, hitches, um, quick, like, uh, seam routes, even. Uh, anything to the running back, uh, he should not be missing, right? Uh, his mid, eh, eh. And especially in all pro, it's and eh, his speed makes up for you know his speed in relation to everybody else. That's you know the same overall is not that bad. His throw power for the same, for the overall as well is pretty good, as well as his deep accuracy actually as well. Um, and especially even if let us say you're for whatever reason playing salary cap or uh what's another one or like even in draft champs, this is actually a really good card if you get stuck with them. Um, just because I don't think you would get stuck with him in Josh James actually um, But either like, you know, this is a good, you know, great budget guy um, Again, he's under 20k under 20k. Let's get into the next guy. All righty So our next guy we have here is Andrew Luck. Like I said a little bit inflated. He's at 30k um, I believe when I looked he was like around 20 to 25 or something like that But because of the promo he went up a little bit uh, But we have Andrew Luck 77 speed so a little bit less 85 and 85 on, on the deep throw in, in mid 89 on the short again. So again, he's very similar to Tannehill, except for the fact that Tannehill has more throw power. So, and he's fa and Tannehill's faster. So that's why you know I rank Tannehill a little bit more than I do with Luck. Uh, not much more to be said here. We can keep this one quick because the other one was you know a little longer. So let's get into the next guy. All right, y'all gonna be like, oh, you a Jaguars fan? That's why you threw him in there. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm keep it a bean though. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Uh, as a fan, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not hating on Nick Foles. He did he did work, you know, while he was on the Eagles. But you know, it's a business, right? And in my opinion, um, we paid a lot of money for a backup that I don't, you know. And then he had got hurt. Not that that was his fault. And then we rode with Minshew. You know what I'm saying? So we just wasted bread like that. You know, if he could, you know, he could see it on the real side. You know what I'm saying? He stones upon the video. You know what I'm saying? But, he's, you know, in terms of Madden anyways, pretty decent. Uh, a little notch under the Andrew Luck because now he has 83 mid, 84 uh, deep. Uh, 
he's got a little bit more throw power a lot less um speed so that's why i'm ranking nick Foles a little bit under but again he's a little bit better and within range than a lot of other guys below and for the last one in this tier one of my favorite like people in the nfl i ain't gonna lie danny dimes 82 speed 86 throw power uh 87 short which is again not terrible we need you know it's not terrible it's not terrible uh but it, the mid and the deep it's pretty bad uh but it's not that much worse than some of the other guys i say Tannehill and luck are you know top tier for this but also again he's inflated as well so i'd probably look to go with luck or look to go with uh honestly Tannehill's the cheap you know he's the best one out of all these guys so i'll go Tannehill unless you're a giants fan of course but uh let's head into the next tier let's get it all righty so for this tier it's between 25k and 75k don't be petty i know someone in you you in the comment section i see point dexter over there like oh that's not 75k bro you just seen it get bought for 76 don't be petty don't be petty don't be petty don't do that don't do that but lamar uh, i believe is the best uh, quarterback in this category because uh now in this category we're talking about adding abilities now because you're getting to the 90 overall range um and that's like right about the cusp right and you'll see what the next few guys that we're going to be talking about and we're going to kind of flip flop you know play styles too so if you guys and actually you know handedness as well in, in some cases uh, but right here we got lamar jackson similar throwing stats to some of the other guys right that we you know that we just looked at like the nick Foles, like the Tannehill, right in fact Tannehill has more throw power and better mid and deep accuracy than he does matter of fact he has better short as well but where he gets him is the speed so there's a give and take and as a matter of fact where he also gets him is that the fact that he has an ability he has a skate artist so if you needed to you know get out and go he has that and i believe he also gets another one as well he should get um fast break if i'm not mistaken so that's pretty freaking good uh, as well as him having a power up if you had his power up you could you know go ahead and do that but um let's head into the next one man because the next one's also a very interesting card that we're going to talk about so our next guy we have troy aikman so different play style obviously he's not and not nearly as fast but we see that you see the uh we see the accuracy right that that's gone up tremendously throw power at 90 that's way better than what it was uh better than Tannehill. and now instead of having a skate artist he has hot route master which is really good because now you could you know get different routes you could you know put a tight end on a corner route or a post whenever you want you could have a cross route there on a receiver uh it doesn't matter which receiver or where they're at on the field the running back doesn't matter so that's the place i would try aikman so you could go a little bit more pass heavy and not as you know scrambler ish and more pocket passer he's your guy but now we're gonna head into the next guy all right so the next guy I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna sit here and hate on him because I just got finished using his 96 card and he pissed me off. He did. But when looking at all the other cards, he's the best option. Uh because he's one of the he's probably the only one that gets the ability skate artist um alongside Lamar Jackson as well. Uh and he, you know, he actually does have decent uh throwing stats to couple, you know, with him being able to get the ability. Uh so that's why I'm gonna roll with Steve Young here. 55k again, in between that 25 to 75k range. Uh, a little bit, and, and that's crazy too, right? He has a skate artist, right? Uh, I believe, I believe he gets. I don't want to. I don't want to say for a fact that he gets Roman, and then he doesn't. But in any event. The fact that he at least gets a skate artist is huge. And that he almost has the same throwing stats as Trey Aikman is crazy. So, that's very helpful. And if you want to have that dual threat, knowing that you're going to be able to make the pass and be able to scoop because you have a skate artist, Steve Young's your guy. But you also have to know uh, he is a lefty if that bothers you. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to head into the next guy right now. All right. So, this next guy, we won't go too in-depth here. He's just a, you know... Poor man's Aikman, I guess, in this sense. 
He's going to be 40k. May even be lower after this weekend, being everybody pulling packs and Redux is probably popping out of packs like crazy. Uh, he's got 83 throw power, so I would try and go get Aikman, man, because that 90 throw power is way better than 83. I promise you it is. I promise you. I promise you. But he's not going to lack in the accuracy department, but you know, I don't, no need to ramble on this card. You got to make up time. Um, you got poor man's Aikman. Let's get into the next tier, the Budget Beast. Talk to me. He is back, people. This man, Ryan Tannehill. Oh, my. Oh. Sheesh. He is back. And so, now we're going to be talking about some different combinations of abilities as well. And he just, again, with the he, similar throwing sets, again, even to, honestly, the Steve Young, but he has 92 throw power, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, but he also gets dashing and uh, dashing that I and escape artist, which is huge, which is huge because he's going to be able to make all those throws on the run. And he's, you know, obviously fast enough now to get uh, escape artist. So that's really cool. Uh, again, he's also 104K. This tier is between 75 and 200K. So, they, they, you know, this is, you know, a guy that I think you can have for a little, you know, roll with for a little bit if you're rolling on a budget until you can, you know, get yourself, let's say, a Russell Wilson or, you know, a version of Lamar, let's say. But uh, let's head into the next guy. Very similar to the last one. Again, Dashing Dead Eye. I mean, escape, yeah, Dashing Dead Eye and Escape Artist combo. Andrew Luck right here, 82 speed. Again, similar accuracy as well. Just depends if you want to run with Luck, if you want to run with Tannehill. Uh, Tannehill, I believe, has more throw power, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but essentially the same card. It's crazy that this Andrew Luck came out in, what, the, what September, I guess, right? So, that's wild. That's wild. But So, Andrew Luck is this, is the next card. Flop. <laughs> this is Andrew Luck. Let, let's get into the next card. So our last two cards are a little bit lower in overall. Uh, and one of them, it being this guy right here, is a different, you know, chemistry outset. Uh, he's going to get roaming and dashing instead of roaming and... Uh, no, he's going to get roaming and escape artist instead of roaming and dashing. Uh, essentially the same thing. There's like a little bit of a hitch, I guess, if you call it. If you let go of the sprint button, uh, roaming Deadeye essentially becomes dashing Deadeye. Um, but he has 83 speed, so he's a little bit faster than than those guys. Uh, but takes a hit in the throwing department due to that, you know, the, you know less overall than Tannehill. And two less than Tannehill and one uh, compared to Luck. Um, but him and this next guy is very similar. Then we're going to wrap up this video. One of my favorites right now, Russell Wilson. Now, his throwing stats are not even as good as, see, see, they hit, they hit. His throwing stats are not as good as, um, as, um, as Watson's, honestly. Uh, but, you know, it's about, you know, he got the better card in. But, as well as, you know, their releases as well. That's something that I want you guys to know. If you guys find somebody's, you know, release that you enjoy and like, you know, some people like Rodgers. I haven't tried Rodgers, but from what I heard, just throw on a run isn't good. I throw on a run. That's an issue. If I wasn't going to throw on a run, I might as well use a pocket passer. That's how I see it. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, this helps you guys. Let me know of any other video ideas that you guys want me to do. I've seen a comment that I recently just got, I just think I gotta remember it, you know, but shout out to you, man, for, you know, leaving me a suggestion, uh, I appreciate that, and, uh, get at me on Twitter as well, Twitter, Instagram, uh, links are in the description for those, um, yeah, appreciate you guys for all the support, remember, go get it by any means, until next time, guys, peace out.